Hi, I am Chef Rahil. We are here in beautiful Fredericton today. We are going to eat everything from north side to south side. Here is the five meals from Fredericton, New Brunswick. We are here at the cabin with Matt. I'm glad I came here because the place is fantastic. So, uh, can you tell me about how long the place has been around here in the community? Uh, it really depends on who you ask. If we have pictures here that are from the 50s, um, for me the oldest I've heard, I think someone said it was 1948 they were here the first time. Do you guys use a, a lot of local products in your cooking? Yeah, pretty well everything, uh, all our produce is all, so uh, Victory Meat, it's a local mm -hmm. small business. We deal local as much as we can. Well, if you're going to do the cabin, you got to do the cabin. And, and the pie is part of it, so we make all our pies in-house as well. Perfect. So can you tell about this pie? Uh, What's there in there? Uh, coconut cream. So it's a vanilla custard with coconut and then topped with a with topping. Well, look at that. That jigger, right? It's like perfect cream in that. Oh, no sense in doing it if you're not going to do it right. Well, thank you for having us. Oh, well, thanks for coming in. It was great having And I'm going to finish the dish. Awesome. We are here at the Abbey with Tabata and Lowry. Why vegan or vegetarian food? Um, we saw a great need for the option in the marketplace, knowing um, how wonderful a plant-based diet is for your own health and for our earth. I am a firm believer in like of plant-forward food, where you can do a lot more with the vegetables yeah. than just like sautéing it or boiling it. No one can touch him when it comes to desserts or soups, believe it or not. So um, we actually have delicious vegan and gluten-free everyday soups. It's a place where people don't notice so much that it's plant-based. We are here for lunch at Pekaroon Roundhouse with Sean. I believe right now it's the place to be in Fredericton. Everybody wants to be here in summer. Yeah, thanks. It, it really is ideally located to sort of unite the north side and the south side of the, uh, of the river and it's located on the trail system. Um, it's just a, a wonderful spot to be within the city. And the city of Fredericton recognized that it was one of the things that makes our city unique. They came up with the Taproom Trail, so uh, they're little maps and it's a really good promotional idea for us. It really promotes the beer and it really helps people get to know the city by traveling between taprooms. Uh, our silo is full of New Brunswick Girl Malting Barley, which means it's the base malt for every single one of our beers. We use hops from uh, Moose Mountain Hops, uh, from Southern Hops, and from Bloomfield Hop Farm, so three New Brunswick hop farms in the St. John River Valley. Um, we incorporate it as much as we possibly can. The beer does not tell the food what to do. The food and the beer uh, sort of get along with each other. That's kind of why the, the 540 Kitchen here is such a good match for the way that we prefer to work. Um, it's, uh, you know, there's slight little changes all the time, and I really think that's what makes it more interesting. We are here at Shake Shed with Julia. You got a beautiful spot here, and I hear a lot about your place. Can you tell me how did you guys come up with the, with the whole place? I had taken a trip to visit one of my friends. She took me to a restaurant that had the that had a milkshake with a dessert topping. I was like, New Brunswick doesn't have it here, so why don't I just bring it here? What are we gonna try today? Um, we are going to try um, the Strawberry New Yorker, which is like by landslide our most popular all the time. With our business, it's important to us that we do milkshakes the old-fashioned way. So we hand scoop every single shake that we make um, and we create our own flavors based on the flavors that are on our menu. So we rim the Strawberry New Yorker in a cream cheese icing. You have taken the concept of the New York cheesecake and turned it into... Turn it into uh, a milkshake. Yeah, exactly. That, that's like our goal with all of our products here is like whatever the shake is topped with, we want to make sure that the milkshake tastes like the dessert. We just put a little whip so that it can hold the cheesecake down. Now the last step <laughs> is the strawberry syrup on top. Wow. That's a big gulp. <laughs> yeah, I can't say why it's a favorite, right? Last meal of the day, we are here on north side of Fredericton at Woolstock Wharf. We're gonna see the team and how they prepare their signature dishes. St. Mary's uh, Community uh, came up with this restaurant. 
they came up with the seafood idea because we could get it locally. So they just wanted to uh, try to capture uh, the scenic view of the uh, St. John River, which is also called the Woolastook. In front of me we have our, uh, probably one of our number one dishes, it's the uh, seafood fettuccine. Well, we have lobster, we have uh, baby shrimp, you have tiger shrimp, um, you have mussels, you have uh, baby scallops as well as uh, large scallops. I'm excited to try the seafood fettuccine. So you guys use white wine, uh, cream and the parmesan? We use parmesan, we also use of course salt and pepper and so on. We usually try to let the seafood do the, yeah. do the flavoring on its own. And I think so when you have fresh seafood, you don't need a lot of different flavors into it, right? Like the seafood is gonna shine itself. If you are in downtown Fredericton for the evening, you need to try Provincial as they have a thriving cocktail program. And to talk about that, we have Kanye with us. What are we making today? Uh, today we're making something really nice. We're making uh, a basil smash, especially for the summer. It's a nice uh, sour variation with a touch of herb. We'll get to use some local gin and uh, some citrus. We'll start with our local gin, Devos Keep Vodka, right here in Fredericton. So all our syrups are made in-house. And uh, this is Saint Germain, it's an elderflower liqueur, which I call uh, bartender's ketchup, because it's so good and just goes well with uh, a lot of things. And uh, we need uh, some citrus uh, just to balance the, some acidity, to balance that sweetness. A little bit of lemon juice. Having a chill glad right off the bat, it works in your base favor because what we're trying to achieve is dilute it at a particular certain amount and chill it appropriately. It's the same format which we use in kitchen. Yeah. Like hot food, hot plate, cold, cold food, cold plate, right? Absolutely, yes, yeah, same type of idea. And I'm gonna get you to really shake hard because we're just trying to add air. You just hold it and you shake as hard as you uh, you can for 10 seconds. Am I doing good? Yeah, you're doing great. Up to 10 seconds, you just shake what your mama gave you. There we go. It's so refreshing that you can taste basil, you can taste vodka. That's necessary for me. And then the elderflower. It just gives a very distinct flavor you know, uh, easy on the palate. What's beautiful about this, you get to taste all the different elements of each, uh, of each ingredient, and to me, uh, it's one of my favorites.